Go back to bed, America. Your government is in control again. Here, here's American gladiators. Watch this. Shut up. Go back to bed, America. Here is American gladiators. Here is 56 channels of it. Here you go, America. You are free to do as we tell you. You are free to do as we tell you. Of men who sit there in violation of the United States Constitution. If you think I will cooperate with you in any way, you are insane. Hey guys, it's December 29th, Wednesday. We're back here to do a revisit at DCF here in Sarasota. If you guys remember my last video, the young lady uh, told the uh, dispatch that we need Jesus. So today I'm going to bring my Y'all Need Jesus shirt so I can fit right in. So let's see if they learned anything and uh, see how this revisit goes. It's been about two weeks since we've been here, so... Hopefully they've uh, had time to learn the law. I won't hold my breath, but we'll see. Hey, how you doing? I was just coming in to see what was going on. I see they put a sign up here. And those signs say no recording in here? Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. Let me go outside. I'll look it up real quick. All right, guys. So they say they got a Florida statue here. Hello. Yeah, I'm looking up these statutes here, and none of them apply. This one is a Wire Tap Act, which is for wire, oral, or electronic communication, and the and the other one, the 414, is a public record exemption. That means that I can't come in and request that kind of information. It said neither one of them says anything about recording in public. This is a public assistance lobby. This is a public lobby, yes. No, it's a public assistance lobby where people apply for public assistance. Mm -hmm. And the individuals who are applying for public assistance have a right to a confidential relationship with the department. Oh, absolutely. And because of that, we can't allow recording in the lobbies themselves to protect customers' identities. No, you would have to take them somewhere private. So, like, for no, example, at the DMV, people say their social security number, right? Okay. The DMV can't keep me out of the lobby. What they have to do is they have to move the people away from the public lobby so that way they protect the information. It's not it's not my requirement to protect information. It's my requirement to protect information. Right. And and you can't fulfill that requirement by restricting other people's rights. Do you see what I'm saying? Like for example, point of view, for right. sure. Unfortunately, right. our legal department is telling us that we cannot allow recording in our lobbies. Let me do this. Can I get the contact information for your legal department? Absolutely. I yeah. can get that for you. Absolutely. I will go outside and wait. Yeah, I will go outside and wait while you grab Absolutely. that information for me. I will go get it for you right now. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> this public lobby. Sorry about that. Here yeah. again. My card, and on the back is the office of the general counsel that's up in Tallahassee. Perfect. And they'll uh, direct you. That's me. 
Okay. Now, when you came in, was there a reason other than videotaping? Like, do you have a public records request or anything like that we can help you with? No, I just, uh, according to Smith v. Cumming, I go and record my public officials in the course of their public duty for okay. matters of public interest. I've read, I've read over the statutes and the definitions for the communication part of it. None of it, none of it applies to me. Here's the deal, because I go not this not just DMVs, but I go into WIC offices, mm -hmm. I go into food stamp offices, which are all what you're trying to say is a assistance program. Okay. And the same thing applies. As long as the general public is allowed in, then the press is allowed in. So if there's an instance like, okay, for example, let's say I'm not recording. Let's just say I have a photographic memory, uh -huh. okay, and I'm in there, and you guys are discussing confidential information. There's no way for you to keep me from remembering that information. So you are in violation, even though I don't have a recording device. Do you see what I'm saying? I understand what you're saying. Unfortunately, our legal department has a different interpretation of that. The law. That's fine. I'll talk with them, and if we can't work it out, then uh, then we'll we'll go the uh, the court system. We'll go the court route. All right. Thank Hi, you, well, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, and have a happy new year. Yeah. You too, ma'am. All right, guys. So we'll go ahead and take care of that. We'll give them a call here in just a minute, and um, and we'll get it on on camera. Let's see what let's see what they have to say. Fishing. He also has an AR-15 and a Glock. 